in Quantum of Solace, I think there was a bit more uh, frostiness or a mistrust between the two of them. Um, and I think Tanner was slightly, um, if not outraged, then certainly uh, annoyed by the the way that Bond always seemed to overstep the mark or play by his own rules as someone who was uh, in full possession of the rules um, in both knowledge and uh, obeisance of them. Uh, I think Tanner, yeah, and he and Bond rubbed up against each other slightly spikily in the, in the first one. But uh, ever since, ever since they've sort of come to know each other's working practices as well as personalities, uh, yeah, there's definitely grown a, a fondness. Um, and I think... And I think Tanner is pleased at when Bond decides to return to the fold, um, not only because he thinks he's a good agent and has still got something to offer, but it also creates another sense of continuity and stability, which I think Tanner quite enjoys. This film feels quite, um, uh, you know, a summary of, of those that have gone before and the ones that I've been involved in. Um, and that sense of tying up loose ends, that sense of... Um, uh, of family in m many ways, that the, the family of MI6, I mean, obviously from me, because that's what I'm most involved with, um, and the sense of loyalty and what loyalty requires of you um, and what it, what, can it, what, what it can do to your own life, your own personal life, uh, as well as working life. Um, and, uh, and I guess, yeah, that sense of, as we're you know confronted daily with the more a more febrile world in which we all live in, how to keep on on top of that and to maintain a, a degree of um, semblance of stability at least uh, outwardly for for the rest of the population, um, and uh, and w when you know all amongst uh, all all those who are in charge are themselves furiously peddling to uh, to maintain as calm as possible. He's more deeply um, in love, I think, in this film than he has been in any of the others. Uh, he's more uh, he's more deeply challenged by the the next generation, more deeply um, challenged by the idea of returning to work and uh, what I guess that question of when you've been so used to providing such service um, and such dedication when you decide no longer to, to give that of yourself, uh, what does your life actually amount to when you, if you're just on a, a beach enjoying yourself? Um, and that's that sense that um, I guess all people in service uh, have been um, confronted with when in retirement of what do I, what do, I do now? Uh, and for Bond, I mean, for some people that's moving on to different things for Bond not only because of what's happened in his personal life and the challenges that have been presented to him in this film, but for him it's actually, he, he can't give it up. Um, and, uh, and I think you see that right through to the end, that sense uh, that for all his you know, desire for a life away from, from the field or away from conflict, um, ultimately you know, his, his life has been one of sacrifice. You know, he got off to a got off to a flyer with Casino Royale, um, and hopefully, you know, each film has strengthened his relationship with the role as well as created new relationships with other characters, um, which over the time have strengthened and deepened as well. Um, you know, he is uh, he's got a fantastic sense of humour. Um, he's obviously, you know, he's not bad looking, and um, he's. Uh, he also just an incredibly deft and, and gifted actor, uh, and it's uh, yeah, it's a fairly uh, strong package he he brings to the to the franchise, and I wouldn't necessarily like to be the person who follows him. Well, I'm just always in awe of the, of the directors of these things, just because of the sheer amount of decisions that they, they have to make every single day. Just to get out of the car in the morning feels like an act of great uh, moral fortitude. Um, and obviously with Kerry writing this one as well, uh, co-writing it, that um, you know he's constantly processing so much information, uh, not only in terms of how this film is looking and uh, the the how the scenes are working with the characters, but how that scene is going to lead into the next scene, and how he can maybe adapt that next scene to to further on the story. Um, I mean, it's it's kind of hypnotic just to see the way that they they juggle the, so many plates uh, throughout uh, throughout these films. 
they really do lead from the front and um and the way that they go about their business has an enormous sort of trickle down effect and the way that they go about their business is with um with thoroughness with kindness uh with a sense of taking the right thing seriously and the right things not seriously um and i think they create a, a sort of cradle for everyone to work in they trust their directors and they let them pursue their vision they trust their writers they trust their designers um but at the same time if things are going out of shape they they're very quick to help people to get it back on on track again um uh every every film I, again um you know the fact that they've been doing it for for so long and they've still got the appetite and enthusiasm and uh and rigor to to be as precise as they are um each time is uh again humbling I think a lot of it is to do with the way that um Michael and Barbara and Greg keep pushing themselves and uh the way that the creative teams know that there's a body of work upon which people have um uh, a great fondness for but how to keep pushing that forward how to keep changing it without you know without um crushing you know every, everyone's expectations uh i guess to a certain to a certain extent there's a degree of comfort in something still existing for that um, amount of time uh some part of the, you know the old world or your youth um that um that is still going on and is still as vivid and um as uh, as exciting as you remember it when you were you know 6 or 7 when you were first watching them um and uh and i guess you know there's cars there's you know there's locations there's stunts there's all the fun stuff there's one liners you know there's always a wit there's a charm um as well as a as well as a heart and a kind of dynamism to them all um i mean what more do, how much more do you want <laughs>